Beautiful. Let's go. Da -da -da. Hey guys, uh, this is Kevin. Um, so, a couple little things. Oh, let me grab that thing. Hold on. Oh, man. So here's my runs to go thing that I said I'd show you guys. Um, here's where I'm at. 782.7 miles so far this year left out of a thousand. Let me add the 10. Let me add. This is not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll delete all this out. Yeah, okay. So my last run was 330. Okay. Okay, so 10 miles on that. So. That's what I got left for the year. 772. So what did I knock out? 200 and almost 230 miles so far this year. Um, um, here's another tip for you. Motrin. It's good for... Uh, it's good for you. <laughs> um, it reduces inflammation. So if you have like plantar fasciitis or you're just... You know, you're, you'll get muscles... After you do long distances... Um, you get muscle, your muscles tear and everything, um, and they swell, and this reduces the swelling in the body, so. One Motrin in the morning. <laughs> mm. Replenish my electrolytes, and, uh, let's see. Hopefully you guys can see this. I don't even know. Okay, so here's the foam roller. Foam roller! And we'll start. Right here. So what you do? Let me go, a little, let me go further away. Hold on. Meet, 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 meet here. Okay. So you hold yourself up. You cross your thing over your calf, and then you roll along your calf. This is supposed to. And you feel it, um, it will loosen up your calf muscle, um, all those knots. And if you get a real, like, tight spot, like right there, you just rest on it for a minute and you'll feel it loosen. And then you just roll, ow, that hurts like a bitch. Uh, and then you could turn your calf a little bit and hit the different muscle groups in the calf. Uh, like that. Okay. And then switch. Doo -doo -doo. I'm not real graceful. <laughs> and then uh, you can do your quad. And with this, you don't need to double up. You can just kind of go like this. You bend your knee and roll like this. You do feel it. Like loosening up the muscle in the leg. It feels pretty good. Uh, so. And you can go sideways on it. Hit the side of your leg. Oh, oh, that hurts right there. Ow, son of a bitch. That hurts. I'm tight right there. Wow. Um, I'm going to stop there for a second. Um, and then you can go sit on it and kind of tilt, and you'll you'll get your butt. You got the gluteus muscles right in there. Roll back so I'm in the screen a little more here. So I get your gluteus uh, right in here, and you can feel your you can feel it rolling the muscle out. It's actually really good. Um, I've been wanting to get one of these, and um, I just haven't gotten one up until now, but anything to stop. And then you, what you could do, lay it onto this way, and you get your back. Because you get 
tension all in the back. Whee! This looks really stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so you got that. And then there's one other thing you could do. Lay it long ways and you lay across the top of it. Like so. And you just stretch your chest out. It expands the chest across. And you can also expand this way. A little extra peep show of my gut. Oh, you can even rock a little bit. Or at least I do. I don't know if it says to do that, but you can get... I get tense right between my shoulders and rock in that little bit like between the shoulders. It loosens that I can feel like a knot right between this one shoulder. So, those are the ones that I know um, as far as for the foam roller. Um, after doing it, I did it like I got a smaller one at Target. It was like, see, this is this is a, th I guess a three footer. I got one that was like half the size, and you obviously can't do the thing where you lay on it. So, I didn't like that. So you couldn't do the lay. Um, I wanted to be able to do everything that I could. Um, so I returned that, and I got this at the running store. It was only um, twenty one bucks. Um, it's tw it was, it's twenty four for non members, twenty one for members. Uh, you, I get like a 10% discount on everything I buy. There's like a membership discount or whatever. Um, at Roadrunner Sports, that's where I bought this. You can find them anywhere. They have them at the sporting goods stores and everything. And they're all around the same price, like 20 to 20. Uh, Walmart has one you could order online. I think it's 20 bucks. I honestly don't know the length of it. This is 36 length, like, like long wise. And uh, it's a 6 inch diameter circle. Um, so, it works out really well, um, and um, I just really need to do this. I did it a little bit before I ran on the treadmill. I'm going to roll it out a little bit more after, um, and um, I guess that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just shoot me um, anything down, down there, down below, and um, otherwise, catch you later. Oh, yeah, I'll leave a link. I think the sidebar is there. I think that's a sidebar. Yeah, that's probably the sidebar. Um, I'll leave a link in the sidebar, or if it's down there, sidebar. I know sometimes, depending on the the size of the thing, it goes in different places. Um, I'll leave a link for Roadrunner Sports, so you can check these things out um, if you're interested. Um, and I'll also leave a link um, for the two shoes that I'm running in. And um, I think I almost made up my mind, if you see the video I just posted. Uh, I think I almost made up my mind to return the Mizunos and just get two pairs of the Nikes, um, which I think that's what I might do. So, uh, do you guys have any tips? If you, if either, if any of you have run in the Nike Lunar Elites and have had any issues or have any comments on those or have any comments on the Mizunos, um, anything would help. Um, I'm still like a new runner. I've only been running for a year, so I'm still learning. Um, I'm just trying to be comfortable during all these long runs, uh, sometime in the middle end of this summer I'm going to be prepping for a marathon so I just want to be geared up I want to be I want my situation for running to be smooth I want everything to go and with running you never know you could twist your ankle on a stupid pine cone or something you know so that's the nature of the beast but uh that's how uh how it is and um I guess I'll talk to you guys later happy running and uh just keep at it um I, uh, another thing, I, I've been seeing a couple of people doing 5Ks and working on that. Um, the couch to 5K. Keep at it. Don't get discouraged. Even if you're only doing those, six, you're having trouble even with those 60 second intervals. So you go 60 and a 90 walk. I went through it all. I had trouble in the beginning. I got winded. You know, you do like, I think you do five or six sets of that. You go 60 minutes run, 90 seconds walk. And by the time you hit that fourth one, you're like dying. I've been there. Um, it only took me a year to get where I am. Um, you just got to work at it and keep going, and uh, you guys can get it done. Um, I'll see you on the road. Bye.